the band and myself, we had 500 and some miles coming in here from Salt Lake City. We arrived at a few minutes to eight and they're just now checking out of the hotel, getting out of the buses and coming up here. see the rocks lit, the back stays on lit. And then eventually I'll take you in, in my dressing room to show you what they've done in there, because it is a cave. Now come on, you gotta see that dressing room. It's pretty awesome. They didn't take the cave out of the cave. All this stuff is new. Look how beautiful it is. Pretty awesome. Oh, it's the coolest dressing room there is. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Sandorini. Are you guys in a cave too? Wow, you guys got to come and see my dressing room. Welcome to Red Rocks. Sounds great. Wow. It's been, I don't know, 20 years coming. In the old days, when we played, we had to walk all the way from up there and come down here. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't drive into your dressing room. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's hot. Oh, yeah. That's hot. You know what they do? When they get hot, they stop playing. I hate that. It scares the heck out of me. Playing outdoors, it's not a script. It's like you better get ready for anything. I'm Brian. I'm the general manager for Aramark up here at Red Really Rocks. nice to meet you. Welcome back. I'm Steve. I work for the city of Denver. I'm the manager for all the events here. Great. You know the acoustics here? Uh, acoustics are awesome. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. And that's all because of the sandstone. Um, that's up in these models. The sound should be absolutely spectacular because it also leaves. It's clean. It doesn't bounce back. You have a nice clean shot. It bounces off the sides a little bit, so it gives you a nice reverberation. And then it leaves. It goes up and it goes out the back. There's no back wall to it. Send it back to you. Well, yeah. It's like the ancient yeah. Greek amphitheaters. Yeah. But, well, that's where yeah. this came from. Um, a guy named George Kramer was the guy who bought it for the city back in 1937. Um, and he actually got the idea when he was in Sicily, the Greek theater, the old ancient Greek theater that's there in Sicily. Um, that's where he got the idea. The emotion that comes from this place, just being here. Oh, it's, it's And it's then as the, as the light goes down and it gets darker and darker, it becomes more and more beautiful. Vibrant. It's pretty amazing. And I can tell you, tonight, I'm gonna be getting goosebumps when I run out on that stage. When I play Hilitsa, sitting here, looking up, uh, my mother looked here. Thank you.